Hey Keith, uh, thanks again for reaching out. I'm gonna, in this video, answer the second question that you asked in your email, which is a fantastic question. It's a question that a lot of guys will have in some shape or form or another. A Little bit of context for the viewer watching this who doesn't know your story. You're kind of trying to repair a fragile, delicate relationship uh, with, uh, with your wife who you're, you know, you have some, some distance there, there's some conflict there and you're trying to kind of figure out what's next. So just for the guy watching, no divorce yet, no separation, anything like this, but this is living in the same house, but also really not feeling in a functional marriage at the same time. So here's your question. I'm gonna to have to look over here to read it a little bit. You said, my wife and I just spoke about what my intentions are in doing self-improvement. I delayed the conversation until Sunday because you didn't really wanna stir up some things. But um, to come back to that, she, said, she believes that all my improvements are for my benefit and not her. I want to improve to be the best version of myself individually, in relationship, as a provider, and as a dad. Should I tell her this or keep it to myself? First of all, I hope that the words of your wife are 100% spot on because in my experience, to do self-improvement for the benefit of anyone but self would be a mistake, meaning, um, you're the only person that you actually live within. Your experience of the universe is within yourself. My version of the universe and, and the, the life I'm living, I'm only living inside of myself. Now, there's a lot of confusion in the world because we have the idea of selfishness, which it means just being completely disconcerned with other people. But it doesn't mean then to understand that your experience of life is really happening in you is a bad thing. It's not, right? The only thing that you actually have control over in your life is you. Meaning you have the capacity, I have the capacity to experience life differently, but only within the con confines of self. So any effort to do any kind of journey of improvement that leaves self and tries to persuade a change in someone else actually has a little bit of elements of narcissism in it because we don't have control over other people and it's unhealthy to think that if I do this, that'll happen in them. That's actually a recipe for uh, being disgruntled, being angry, being bitter, being resentful. And so I'm really glad your wife is saying this and I hope internally that your response is, hell yeah, I'm doing it for me. Who else would I be doing it for? Now. There's gonna be some emotion related to the statement that your wife has, right? Um, but I wouldn't worry about the words too much. I would get very curious about, oh, that's interesting. She seems to feel something by her statement. And what I would suggest she's feeling is a little lack of security that if you change and grow, that she's going to see the benefit. And this is not uncommon when men are on a personal development journey that there's a little bit of anxiety in the woman that if you grow into a better man, that you'll move on away from her. This is just a woman's form of insecurity herself, right? She's a human, she's gonna be insecure. We're men, we're insecure. And so this is just, I believe, sounds like an expression of her insecurity about where you may be going on your journey. And so instead of answering the content of her word uh, or the content of her statement, I would, instead try to address the content of her heart, which is, are you feeling insecure? Are you feeling uncertain about the direction I'm headed, right? And then just sit quietly for a minute, ask her, right? And maybe she, she says yes or no or whatnot, and just ask her to tell you a little bit more about that. I'd love to know more about how you're feeling. Is there anything you need from me? It doesn't really require an action on your part or a change in your direction because you're headed in a really good direction if you're headed in a direction of improving yourself. But it doesn't mean that you won't have an opportunity to talk about some insecurities that your wife might have. Now, we know that when we improve ourselves as men, we are a better lover. We're better in relationship. We're better as providers. We're better as husbands and fathers. We're better as members of a neighborhood and community and state and nation and the world, right? To improve yourself is to improve the planet. 
and yet not everybody will see it that way. We live in a society that essentially makes a virtue out of codependency by telling us in, in really kind of dumb ways that we're somehow entangled and integrated with one another in ways that really lead to nothing but victimization. So I hope this helps, Keith. I think you're headed in a fantastic direction. I think if you just empathize with the insecurities your wife might have over your journey, then you can just keep going on your journey. You don't need to explain to anyone, really, um, why you're doing anything, right? Um, that's up to you if you choose to do that. But really, your wife is not asking you for data. She's asking you for connection. She's asking you for reassurance that you still love her, that you're still for her, that you're still for your relationship, and that even if you grow, that that you're not growing so that you can go somewhere else. I think if, if that's what's happening and you address that, I think what you'll see is it can turn into a real connecting moment for both of you. So again, thanks for reaching out. I uh, look forward to talking to you in our next conversation, and I'll talk to you soon, brother. Take care.